We know we need to do social distancing to beat the coronavirus. For many, this is as simple as working from home, getting groceries delivered, and canceling everything else. But for people with connected households, it's not that simple. For example, if you need someone to come to your home to help you with getting dressed or preparing meals, your household and the household of the person supporting you remains intertwined. My name is Steve Keener. I'm the Executive Director for Jubilee Association of Maryland. We support 140 adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities in their homes. Supports include everything from shopping and cooking to getting showered and dressed to helping people live full social lives. Now, let's talk about social distancing. This is my house, me, my wife, and my two sons. Thanks, by the way, to Tristan and Seth for helping to make this video. For my home, social distancing is pretty simple. Schools are closed. My wife and I can work from home. We're having groceries delivered. We've effectively built a fence around us and our exposure to the coronavirus is pretty low. Now, let's look at a home receiving support from Jubilee. Two weeks ago, this is what typical comings and goings looked like. The three people we support went to their jobs and day programs. They also went to social activities, grocery stores, movies, churches, parks, malls, libraries, and restaurants. They also visited their families and friends, and they received visitors. Three different direct support professionals came from their homes to provide support. Many of them also went to other jobs, other stores, other churches, etc. when not working for Jubilee. And all these visitors and employees also lived with others who were doing a billion other things. As you can see, the potential virus exposures were mind-boggling. In the last two weeks, we've started eliminating many of these exposures. The people we support stopped going to work and day programs. Social activities were canceled, as were trips to the stores, churches, malls, etc. Visits with family and friends are now replaced by phone calls and video chat. And we're arranging delivery and pickup of groceries and other supplies. But what about the direct support professionals that come to provide support? They can't stop coming. Their work is truly essential. Everyone is, of course, washing hands and sanitizing everything. But in a sense, the homes of the people providing and receiving support remain intertwined. The connected households depend on social distancing of each other. This means each person in each connected household needs to stay home as much as possible. The social distancing fence is around not just one household, but several. I'm so proud of our community, the people we support who are staying at home, and our direct support professionals who show up every day ready to do their best in a stressful time. Thank you for everything you are doing to keep everyone safe and healthy. Stay home, stay safe, stay in touch.